so today I'm going to attempt to put my car back together. I fixed all the pinholes in my radiator, I hope, so it shouldn't leak anymore. But I have another issue where my knock sensors are like around my knock sensors and my lifter valley cover is blowing oil everywhere and it's soaking underneath the intake and everything in oil. I've just been dealing with it, cleaning it off and just dealing with it. But my wife bought me this really nice ICT billet lifter valley cover. They're fairly cheap, I think it's like 40 bucks or something. But if you're really cheap and if you have the same issue, you could just measure them and get the freeze plug that's the right size and just beat a freeze plug down in there and you'll never have to worry about it. But I have the nice cover so I'm going to put that on, put my radiator back in and then I should be good to go to get back on the road and start dialing in my tune. I'm going to be going to the dyno later on this month. So we'll see what it'll make. I'm shooting for a thousand, so hopefully it'll hold, but we'll see. It ought to be fun. So these China throttle bodies are notorious for these tubes that come off the side for being loose. And mine was loose but I didn't think too much about it but I noticed today that it's gone. So I don't know when that happened but it's a boost leak. It goes straight to this top left hole inside the throttle body. So I'm going to tap it out for a quarter inch MPT and put a plug in there and seal it all up would be good to go. Normally with a quarter inch MPT a tap, you're supposed to drill it out with a 7 16 drill bit. But this stuff's so soft and it's pretty close, it's like a 3 8 hole. So I'm just going to try and just tap it with the tap, see how it goes. So some of you guys have a hard time getting all the air out of your coolant system and this is a pretty cheap deal I got off eBay. It's like 30 or 40 bucks and it comes with a bunch of different fittings for different size radiators, radiator caps and stuff. And you just, I think it's called a burping tool, spill free burping tool. And you just fill it up and it just gargles all the air out. Well, I got this sucker back together. I got my transducer all wired in. I got my lifter valley cover all put in. I fired it up, let it warm up, revved it up a lot, checked for leaks. I didn't see any leaks. Nothing seems to be leaking so far. Um, my pressure transducer on the coolant system, it, once the car warmed up and I was messing around with the two step and revving it up and stuff, it got up to like 15, 16 pounds. So 
they say every card's a little different. That you should just see what it is at a baseline, and then if it goes too much over that, then you know you have an issue with pressure in your coolant system. So now I know it's probably around 15, 16 pounds is probably normal, and then above that, I probably should be getting worried about what's going on. But uh, I already had my dome sensor all wired up previously, and it already has the sensor ground and the 5 volt source that you need for any pressure transducer. And you can tie in it those as many times as you want. It don't matter. It doesn't hurt it having three or four things ran off the same 5 volt and uh, sensor ground. And then I just ran the wires up here up to my uh, pressure transducer. I got put in the uh, radiator. And then I just had to run one wire to the holly. So if you guys don't already know, I'll go ahead and show you real quick how to add the pressure transducer in the holly software. You go to inputs and outputs, make sure you're on inputs, go to an open input. Uh, I have a Holly HP, so I only have four ins and outs, and I'm using the first three. So I go to my only open input, which is J1A4, enable, click type, go to 5 volt, click OK, give it a name. configure and you go to type and you go to holly 100 psi and you go to pin map make sure you're on inputs and you look down here input number four and coolant pressure so there you go it's pretty simple and straightforward